Hello and welcome to the Mom Training Podcast where we discuss the skills and strategies to create possibilities in motherhood and make it more fun, efficient, organized, and peaceful. But I don't want to. <laughs> you can picture the face I'm doing right now. Poo, it's not fun at all. You know, that self-discipline thing. The love-hate relationship to success and freedom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're going to talk about that today and how we can increase our self-discipline as a mom and maybe even learn to like it. Yep, I said it. You're going to like it. <laughs> According to Google's dictionary, the definition of self-discipline is the ability to control one's feelings and overcome one's weaknesses, or the ability to pursue what one thinks is right despite temptations to abandon it. Ooh, there's so much juiciness here. So what feelings do we need to control and what weaknesses to overcome? Hmm, okay. I want you to notice in your day what you feel or the weaknesses you experience. Are they controlled? Do you feel you have a handle on them? I'm talking about, are you an emotional eater? That's a feeling and a weakness. Are you drawn so much to social media and it sucks you dry daily because you can't stay away from it? Gossiping, procrastination. I want you to think about your self-discipline and controlling your feelings and overcoming your weaknesses. You're the best one to answer that. (laughs) could you improve in self-discipline in some areas i know i could and i think we constantly have to work on improving our self-discipline in some way every day because if you're being diligent in one area there's a possibility something else is slipping because you're succeeding in the other that's where the idea of balance is it's a constant effort to work on one area, then move to another to focus on that going back and forth and back and forth working on self-discipline each time Gaining ground and adjusting another. Being perfect? No. But all in all, practicing self-discipline in all areas of our lives as much as we can. And it'll bring us success as we continue to take one step forward. Which leads me into the next point in the Google definition. The ability to pursue what one thinks is right despite temptations to abandon it. Ooh, that's so good. (laughs) Have you ever worked on something and it's taken forever to happen? Did you finish it till the end or was it too challenging and you quit? I feel that anything worthwhile is going to stretch you till it stings and takes a lot of work, sacrifice, and self-discipline. Success comes with the temptation to quit. I heard that from one of my mentors that the temptation to quit is for everyone, but it's the people who choose to push through that feeling are the ones to succeed. So if you have thought you were broken or something by how many times you've wanted to give up on accomplishing something, you're normal. Congratulations. <laughs> Glad about that because, man, the struggle is real when you're working hard for something. Getting yourself in a routine is definitely a way to help you be consistent with your goals and have self-discipline even when you don't feel like it and want to throw in the towel. So when you have something you want, do you continue to pursue it despite the temptation to abandon it? If you've given up in the past, you don't always have to choose that path. Success could be just around the corner for you if you keep moving. If others can accomplish what they want and succeed, so can you. So self-discipline, you jolly old soul, why are you so important? Self-discipline is the key to all success. If you want to clean your house, have time for your favorite hobby, or take care of yourself, You have to be consistent, and consistency comes with self-discipline. Because I'll tell you what, goal setting and achieving those goals is not always fun. It becomes mundane, and you want the result now. Most of the time, you have to wait. I would always think, why can't I just have the result now when I'm passionate and excited about it? (laughs) Why do I continue to have to wait for the end result? But in my experience, the daily grind, the constant effort, and the same thing over and over is what brings success in your life. Self-discipline, when the end result seems so far away, is what is actually going to really push us through the hard times and make us victorious on the other side. Without the practice of self-discipline, you may fall to your own temptation that sets you back farther from the goal you wish to achieve. And we know that we don't want that either. So self-discipline is really important. So let's talk about you. What do you want to accomplish in your life as an individual, in your family, your home, relationships? What do you want? If you knew you couldn't fail, 
How would you design your life? Now, I want you to think about what areas you need more self-discipline to accomplish these goals. I'm sure something comes to mind of, yeah, I should work on that, or yeah, this is a habit I need to protect myself from with more self-discipline. The first step is realizing you have a weak point that is making or breaking your goals. Unfortunately, we could probably all write down a handful of places that need some work, and that's okay. You and I are both humans and learning and growing people who aren't done yet. That's great to know that. We're not finished, our story isn't over, and we have the ability to choose something different tomorrow. To have more self-discipline in one area or be more diligent in another. The first step is not giving up on yourself or your future. If you're listening now, I believe there is something amazingly beautiful in your life to accomplish. And I love the thought that each person here listening now is completely different. Your contribution to the world is special and specifically planned for you. We need you, who you are, and who you will become in the future. What is that one area that you've always wanted to improve in or need to improve that keeps coming up for you? So this is what I want you to do. I'm going to give you a couple seconds to think about one area. One, you overachievers, (laughs) that you could improve in self-discipline. This week, I want you to create a simple plan of how you're going to have more self-discipline and to really focus on this one area. It could be really simple, like I'm not going to get on social media after 8 p.m. so I can wind down and get to bed early, or I'm not going to eat anything after dinner. I'm going to drink more water. I'm going to be present when another person is in my presence, including my children. You get it? Create a simple plan, try it out for a week, and see how you feel the next time we chat. I bet you'll feel a lot better about your progress towards the goal you've been dying to accomplish. As a mom, I know it's challenging to set goals sometimes when we are pulled in so many directions, but that doesn't mean we should stop working towards things and setting those goals. It just means we need to step up our game, learn to be resilient and adaptable, and up our self-discipline to create the time, energy, and resources needed to succeed and be the rock star we've always dreamed of, in whatever way that means for you. The struggle is part of the process. It is worth it to continue forward and succeed. So girl, get out there and get it done. I know you can. As a listener of the Mom Training Podcast, you are a special breed and are 100% capable of achieving the life you desire as a mom, with a family, and as a beautiful woman. Super proud of you. I'd love to hear what you're working on this week. Head over to Instagram and Facebook at Diana Ballard Live. That's at Diana Ballard, L-I-V-E. And let me know what you're doing to be one step closer to the life you've dreamed of through self-discipline. Hit the subscribe button and tell your mama friends about this podcast. Hope you have a great week and we'll see you next Tuesday on the Mom Training Podcast.